Hey there, Christy Chadwick with CLC Healing Therapies. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, sunscreen. And it is important, we should wear it. Um, you don't need it all the time if you're gonna be outside in the sun for like a half hour or less. Um, definitely a good idea not to wear sunblock um, because the sun allows our bodies to produce vitamin D, which is essential in our immune system and a whole bunch of other things. But one of the reasons for flu season, it's not a season, but it's because of the major def uh, deficiencies in vitamin D because we're not outside as often, so our body cannot produce it enough. So try to be outside at least 20 minutes per day. Have your forearms or face exposed, that would be great. Um, it, would, it will go a long way in just helping you support your body. On those occasions when you do need to have sunblock, it's very important to have a uh, sunscreen that has non-nano particles. So nano particles are small particles that can absorb easily through the skin. And one of the problems with the general sunscreens that you find on the shelf is that they contain nanoparticles. So those particles are being absorbed into your skin, which um, could be problematic for a lot of people. So you want a product that has non-nano particles. So if you follow me and you know who I am, you know how much I love Young Living Essential Oils. So they created a sunscreen a couple of years ago that has non-nano particles in it. <clears throat> so it's uh, mineral based. It has nothing in it that can harm you. So it's a wonderful uh, option to use. One of the problems is it's a cream. So when you put on the cream, you know, sometimes it's, it doesn't spread easily. It's white, so you have like white smudges all over yourself. So um, one of the women who I follow in Young Living told us about a mixture that she creates. She uses the sunscreen and then she uses Clariderm. <clears throat> so off the top of my head, I will put it in the comments, but um, it's a whole tube of the sunscreen and then half of a bottle of Clariderm. You mix these two together, it's spreadable. Um, the Clariderm has wonderful skin properties, so not only are you benefiting from the sunscreen, the Clariderm is just a fantastic skin supporter to begin with. So combining the two, it feels wonderful. It's not greasy. It's easily spreadable. It's really good. So this is what she did and then what my mess was. So um, she got these spray bottles off of Amazon. Um, it's just a spray bottle. Um, I've seen them all over. They're typically used for liquid, like actual liquid. Um, uh, homemade hairsprays or face sprays or room sprays, you know, liquid. Well, me just being excited to try something new, I'm not very good at this quite often, but it's funny. And if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Um, so I take my entire tube of sunscreen and I put it right into the bottle. So here's my bottle. I actually peeled off my label, right? So I put all my sunblock in here and then I measure out half of this, which I think comes out to um, two ounces maybe or an ounce, I forget, I think an ounce. And I put it inside on top of this and now I can't stir it. So, I have this sunblock in here. So the bottom is like 
solid and then the top has the liquid. Maybe if I changed it around, I could have handled it, but no. So I had to get it all out into a bowl, which was time consuming. And then I had to stir it up. So I did. So then I had to get it back into the, the container, which it was okay. And then I start squirting and it's not spraying. It's just like a stream. So I'm like, hmm, this isn't the greatest. So I bring it out to the beach. Together, the sunblock works amazing. It was really, really good. Extremely uh, effective, smooth skin. I didn't break out afterwards. I used it on my face and my whole body and on my kid. Um, it works well for her and I. My husband, it does not work well for. It's SPF 50, but for whatever reason, his body chemistry did not um, utilize it properly. I don't know, but that happens with any product. For some people, it's gonna be great, and for other people, it's not. So for my husband, he cannot use this. It just does not give him the protection that he needs. But for her and I, this is perfect. So I'm squirting, squirting, squirting. Eventually it just clogs up on me. Can't squirt anything. So I am taking this out. I'm wiping this on my hands, you know. So then I remembered that I had a couple of these uh, silicone tubes that I had gotten from Amazon, of course. So they're so easy to use. The top, just I don't really want to squeeze it because I don't want to make a mess on myself here, but the top squeezes off. There we go. The top squeezes off, so it's real easy to scoop in here and like, you know, pound it down. And then you just pop the top back on and then you have your cap and you're good to go. So I love the silicone tubes. They're super easy to use, obviously, and then you just squeeze out the amount you need, and then that's it. So I had an epic fail on the pump, but the combination of your mi mineral sunscreen and then the Clariderm spray was fantastic, and I am so glad that I tried it. Um, like I said, I'm not the greatest at like DIY combinations. I usually make a mess, but that's okay. Um, and somehow I have to figure out how to get the rest out of here. So I might have to perform some surgery to get this open. Um, that's okay. It's a bottle that I won't use again, but I have another one to create some kind of hairspray. So that's that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, like, share. Let me know if you try it and if you had success in either spraying or in a tube or even um, a, just a scoop or two, a t tub is okay too. Um, <clears throat> that would be okay if you're not heading out to the beach because obviously you just get sand all over the place. But um, so I would suggest a squeeze tube. And again, these are super cheap uh, silicone, um, and they're great because it's really thick and uh, durable, and obviously it travels with you. My cats are on my bed. Can you see them? Arguing. All right, well, I hope this helped you, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.